Hello, my materialistic minions. It's me, Bo Shevisu. It's time to put on my wooden bow tie and share with you guys this nine millimeter lens that I have on my GH5 right here. It actually looks like it's just the, the actual lens or the camera cap, so to speak, on your camera. But don't be fooled, that is a lens. Here's how it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and flick this guy on like so. You're probably gonna get this prompting if you have a GH5. It just says a current focal length 18 millimeter and on the package it said 18 millimeter as you can see right here. And so I just set it to 18 uh, and so that's it. So anyway, just click yes. It might prompt you each time. Uh, or change the setting, yes, no, 18 millimeters, no. Great, now we are ready to rock. But as you can see, it's kind of dark right there. And so I'm gonna open this up on this on my end. It is fully manual like this. And as you can see, it's kind of blinking like this. And so we're gonna go ahead and open it up and now you can see me. How cool is that? And if I were to slowly start closing it, you'll see I kind of go out of focus and it slowly closes. So this is not only how you open it up, but also how you manually focus. There were some reviews out there and I was like, how do you focus this? There's, there's no ring on there or anything like that. You focus it using this. And if you look very closely, the lens itself is actually going in and out. So when you open it up, the lens itself is moving forward. And so that allows you to actually focus with this thing. It's a, it's a pretty cool angle, isn't it? So as you can see, this is just normal iPhone right here. And then if I were to pop over to here, it's a somewhat distorted looking view. This would especially work well if in fact you had um, like real estate photography or if you were into making skater type videos. Um, this would especially work because it's just that really cool, crazy fisheye. It's not as fisheye as like a GoPro. GoPros have a very distinct look and quite honestly, I can't stand them. But with this, you are still shooting in full 4K footage on your GH5 with incredible color and uh, it just looks magnificent. So that's it. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and flip over to video and we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison of this guy, shall we? And we're gonna go ahead and I'm trying to do this backwards. Three, two, one, and we should be recording. You should see a little blinking light right up there in the corner. And if we were to kind of have this side by side, I'm trying to adjust the focus. Obviously I can't see if whether or not I am in focus, but I'm just gonna be going, kind of going back and forth. So we're gonna slowly start closing it, closing it, closing it, closing it, closing it. And about right now you can probably see the shutter going down and we are completely closed. And if we were to slowly start opening it up and slowly open it up all the way, you'll probably see me going in focus and then suddenly out of focus. So, and there it is. Now I'm fully, fully wide open like so. And that is it. Coolest lens ever. An awesome, awesome bang for your buck. It, um, uh, people call it kind of a toy lens, but honestly, Guys, you could just keep this on your camera and just pull it out and get some amazing landscape shots or some crazy distorted real estate photography that makes your house look absolutely huge. Um, or if you're filming a music video and you kind of want some, some of those in and out type moments, you know, kind of how they're rapping and they're talking into the camera, sort of going in and out like this this lens would work very, very nicely. So we're gonna go ahead and pause that right there. And lastly, we're gonna take this off so you can see how thin it truly is. And so, as you can see, I, uh, I released it like so, and then it pops open, and there's that side, and then that side. And it's very, very thin, how cool. And of course, we have the uh, little, where's the little red mark? Ah. There is the red mark right on that side. Can you see the red mark between my, my yeah, right there? And then that red mark, of course, corresponds with that red mark. Pop it in like so, and turn it until it clicks. That's it, and you're ready to rock. Uh, and we're gonna keep this closed, just to kind of keep some of the, um, the dust out of it. And yeah, there's no threads on the outside or anything, so you're not gonna be putting any kind of filters on here. It's pretty much just 
small little 9 mil pancake lens to pop onto your mirrorless camera. So that is it, a small down and dirty real world demonstration of this guy. I do run a nonprofit film studio full time that produces film for other nonprofits. So if you know of any awesome churches, charities, or ministries, point them towards us so that we can capture their impact and broadcast their love using incredible equipment like this that they don't have to buy because they're just like, hey, Knox Studio, would you come over here to West Africa or Chicago or Seattle or wherever and uh, create this film for us, which will pay itself off many, many times over. How cool is that? That's it. My name is Bo Chevesu. Look forward to testing, demonstrating, and reviewing more fun things here on Amazon.com. And still photo, smile.